All right, this is like my third attempt trying to record this video on my Galaxy Note 4, which is constantly overheating while I'm recording the video, but that's a whole nother issue, a whole nother uh, topic. But uh, the other day, today is Friday, March 25th, uh, on Tuesday, or Wednesday, I believe, I made a video about my new Sharp WGS 30 that was brought in from Japan from my, with my bro brother-in-law. Um, and I was comparing that to the Kindle Paperwhite. This is the first generation, by the way. Um, and comparing basically the screen. This is the WGS 30 is basically an e-ink notebook. And I mentioned it. It might not be an actual e-ink screen. It's a, it might could be an LCD screen, but that's a low powered. But battery life is great on this thing. I've been using it quite a bit and it hasn't even hit the first bar of the three bar battery. Um, and I also found that under certain light, like especially like a like a LED lamp like this, like directly, not directly under it, but off to the side of the spot, it does actually have a nice reflectiveness of in the screen so that it does show a lot more contrast. Like looking at it right now, this is just uh, sunlight everywhere. Um, but at, even at this angle, it just looks so washed out and uh, it doesn't look that great, especially compared to the e-ink screen on the Kindle. Um, but under certain, like, light, it does look pretty good. And so I had this crazy idea. Uh, let me come back to that. Um, as you can see, I'm getting comfortable with uh, creating my notebooks here. I have my general notebook with like to-do lists and stuff like that. I have my health journal. I have my Minami journal, with my, which is my daughter. So anything related to her, I write in there. I have my system journal, which is like software and hardware notes I make, my personal journal, and then my work journal, uh, my company journal, just uh, work-related stuff and notes. Um, so I'm kind of creating all these notes that I usually use no uh, Microsoft OneNote for on my computer. But because the battery life is so great on this and I could just turn it on and not have to worry about uh, it running out of battery, um, this is supposedly, I heard that it can last up to a month without having to recharge. So that's the, that's the beauty of having this kind of e-ink uh, notebook type screen as opposed to having to access my computer in OneNote all the time or even my tablet. I have my Asus uh, Vivo, Note, Vivo Tab Note 8 which I do use for a lot of writing and whatnot, and it does have a pen uh, Wacom digitizer that you can actually write on. But battery life on this is not particularly great. I do have to recharge it every day. Um, so that's uh, one thing. So um, as I was saying, uh, the in my other video, my biggest gripe was that it doesn't have a backlight and the contrast on the screen is not great. But as I mentioned, under certain lighting conditions, the contrast actually looks not that bad. So I had this really crazy idea, and because I was referencing my Kindle Paperwhite, which has, um, I forgot what Amazon calls it, but it basically has this film that goes over the screen, and I kept referring to it as a backlight, and actually it's not a backlight, it's a uh, front light that goes on front of, it's a film that goes in front of the e-ink screen. And there's actually four LEDs at the bottom that basically uh, shoot light up. And this film is like a fiber optic cable that evenly distributes that light all the way up to the top of the screen. And I had some, yeah, like so on iFixit, they have this, um, this is the first generation uh, Kindle Paperwhite, but they show you actually how you can actually remove that film and actually replace the LEDs at the bottom. So this is the, the like that fiber optic film. And then this is the four LEDs that actually shine up the film and create the front light, which looks like a backlight, but it's technically a front light. So I had this crazy idea to... Um, See if I can get into my notebook. And yeah, so I did this quick sketch of my idea. And basically, this is my Sharp WGS 30 uh, notebook. I was I was thinking, hey, if I could take that front light screen, 
rip it off of a Kindle Paperwhite, obviously not off of uh, my beloved personal Kindle Paperwhite, but if I can find a Paperwhite with the, a screen that's intact and rip that out and then place that over, because I also was thinking of getting a, a um, screen protector for my, uh, for my notebook. So I was thinking, instead of a screen protector, if I can rip out the the um, front light of the Kindle Paperwhite, and since it's just LEDs, I can just hopefully splice in or solder in wiring and a dimmer connected to a, a USB connector, and then plug that into a USB battery, which I have a couple of, you know, even some small ones. Um, and to activate these LEDs and then adjust the brightness with this dimmer. And my my hypothesis would be that, my theory is that it would light up this screen and if I can fit it onto this, um, this notebook screen, it would actually light up the screen and make for a nice contrast and nice um, viewable experience. So I, I'm really obsessed with this idea and I'm bidding on this uh, paper, uh, Kindle Paperwhite that apparently this person's dog chewed up. Uh, it's got like chew marks in this corner up here, uh, but the screen looks intact and then they mentioned that the, actually, the actual light, the front light film lights up. There might be a little bit of damage in that corner. But, so that's one thing. So if I can get my hands on that, that ends on Sunday. So I have a couple more days before I, I know I can get that. Right now it's going for five fifty. The the auction is at five fifty. Um, bidding up to ten dollars. <laughs> Hopefully the other person who's bidding on it doesn't listen to this video and and outbids me. Um, but anyways, the Kindle Paperwhite screen is a bit smaller than this uh, notebook screen, but. I noticed that on the iFixit page that the um, that the actual film that goes over the screen is a little bit bigger than the actual screen. I think it extends just a little bit into this bezel, so I'm hoping that would be be enough to where it can f cover the whole, or at least a, a good portion of this notebook screen. The only issues are obviously if it is too big or if I do have to resize it, if I can, the the question is, can I actually cut that film down the size um, uh, without affecting the actual front light uh, ability from the LEDs at the bottom? And the main problem I have is obviously I can't stick the film underneath this frame. I don't want to have to take apart this notebook. So if I apply it straight on top, the main issue would be this be this part of the, um, uh, I guess, the bevel right here. It would actually be sticking up. Uh, the, the LEDs would have to overlay over this part of the bottom, and then I would basically tape it around it to make a frame and cover it up to hold it in place. And also, I have to find kind of an adhesive, a clear adhesive to actually apply to the film to stick it on there, uh, to, to stick on the screen, something that's not going to be permanent or ruin the actual existing screen. But um, with the LEDs over here, the film would actually lift, go over this bev uh, beveled area, and I, I don't know if I'd be able to... Um, you know, effectively touch these buttons here um, through that little bumped area. But I did test another screen protector on top of this screen, and the pen is actually works very well as long as you put enough pressure and it'll actually mark up the screen very nicely. So um, yeah, so this is the idea, and I'm I'm assembling the parts right now. The main component is this uh, winning this eBay auction for this. Um, there are a couple other ones, but they're a little pricey. Another one was like $20 for a buy it now. So I think $20 is a little much for a broken piece of crap paper white uh, that I'm just using parts for. But anyways, hopefully my DIY project will work. And when it does, I would actually have this notebook as a front lit uh, e-ink notebook that I can write in. And that would be totally awesome. That's like the biggest thing that's missing from this uh, little LED notebook. So I will post updates as I go. Anyways, see you later.